name is Dr. Jesse Sanders, owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. Today we will talk about how much to feed your fish. Now, in other species, you know, cats, dogs, horses, pigs, sheep, goats, food is measured out in kilocalories based on how much your pet weighs. So again, they go to the vet once a year, they stand on the nice little scale or sit in it if they're small, and you'll get a weight. And based on that weight, you'll know how many calories to feed. And thankfully, on most bags of cat and dog and pig and horse food, it's going to list the total kilocalories per, hopefully, pound per cup per some sort of measurement. Now, when it comes to fish, I don't know if any of you have ever actually weighed all of your fish together and come up with a weight. If you have, that's phenomenal. And certainly if you have absolutely nothing to do on a day and you are capable of safely capturing and weighing your fish, basically what you do is you multiply their weight times 1.5% and you have the total kilocalories that you're going to feed your fish. Now, if only the fish food bags would actually say how many calories are in them, uh, we'd be one step ahead. But unfortunately, most people can't weigh their fish. They have no idea how much they weigh. And the calories listed on food aren't there. So what are you supposed to do? Well, depending on what your setup is, if you have, say, a single species or kind of by species pond or tank, like say a goldfish tank or a koi pond, um, it's really important that you pay attention to the total protein that's in the diet. So in order to maintain their bodies, um, koi need about 30 to 32 percent. And again, this is going to be very close to goldfish, which is going to be about 32 to 35 percent. And there are many different koi foods that come in these regulations. And what you want to do is the best way to do is just scatter a little bit let it all be eaten, scatter a little bit more, let it all be eaten until the fish stop wanting to eat or you see some start to float to the edges. Again, it's going to take more effort than just throwing a cup of food and walking away. But, you know, after a couple times, if you're able to kind of gauge how much they eat, again, you might be able to pre-measure that out and throw it and just know that it's all going to be eaten. But again, if your pond is outdoors or even indoor tank with a temperature fluctuation, depending on the temperature of the water is going to dictate how much the fish want to eat. And that's just the fact that fish are ectotherms and their metabolism is going to be tied to the water temperature. If you do have a mixed species tropical tank that's at a set temperature, usually you're going to have a lot of different species together in one tank. I mean, you might not. It might just be a guppy tank, which is fine. So with those, a lot of these tropical fish, we don't know enough about what they're actually supposed to get. I mean, they might be more herbivore, more carnivore, they might be middle and omnivore, and these might all be in the same tank together. So what we recommend is try to get a variety of different diets and, you know, kind of sprinkle some around and watch it fall and watch it get eaten. If any hits the ground and doesn't get eaten, that's probably feeding them a little bit too much. But unfortunately, since we don't know how much your fish weigh, we don't know their metabolic requirements, we don't know how many kilocalories are in all these different fish foods, I wish there was some magic formula I can give you, but really that's just our best advice, is to be patient and take your time and watch your fish. They are much better self-regulators than a lot of dogs and cats, but that's really the best thing that you can do is just watch them eat. And again, just a little bit at a time to make sure that everybody's getting a fair share. It's a great time to make sure everyone is coming up to eat. Everybody is behaving normally. Nobody has any lumps or bumps or cuts on them. So really kind of enjoy that time with your pet fish. And obviously, if you do it the same time every day, they will learn. And they will be expecting you with that feed bag. So... Hopefully that's answered that question, kind of. Again, I'm really sorry I don't have a magic formula for you, but just take your time, be patient with your fish, and you will figure it out. So thank you so much for watching today. If you have any more questions about fish or fish health, please visit our website at cafishvet.com. At Aquatic Veterinary Services, fish are treated like family.